The King's Citadel. Well, what can I tell you about them? About the ones who do the job no one else can do? Well, I can tell you this. Wherever they go, people notice. And wherever they are, hope follows. Hilarion, the shield. A star-forged Aegis who's lived a long time, who's seen war and peace, and will do whatever it takes to keep the first from falling into the second. Merame, the sword. A Kalashtar bard whose dreams prophesy uncertain ends, but the wisdom of whose counsel and love for her sister are unquestionable. Tantin, the brain. A dragon-marked human artificer whose jovial demeanor conceals a deep curiosity and razor-sharp intellect, sharp enough to cut down the Citadel's enemies. Misiana, the heart. A dragon-marked halfling healer whose love for her sister is matched only by her desire to help and heal the members of the Citadel, no matter the cost. They came together to aid the salvage outpost of salvation, where the Grey hovers nearby, a threat and a promise. They've made friends along the way, salvage brokers, sheriffs, and everyday citizens alike. But they've also made enemies. Irulan Karnak, most powerful of the salvage brokers, the Order of the Emerald Claw, and even the Lord of Blades, if he truly exists. And, most dangerously, they've discovered something so powerful it could undo the fragile peace between nations. The Oracle of War. This powerful device will give anyone who owns it the knowledge they need to win any battle. And everyone from rival nations to greedy bandits will stop at nothing to possess it. Especially now that it's begun to speak lines from the ancient draconic prophecy which predicts all of Eberron's future. Well, they've survived the Grey, and saved salvation. But can they survive the intrigue and deception of Sharn, City of Towers, where those with deep knowledge of the draconic prophecy must help decide what to do with this artifact? Only if they remember that in the end, all we have is each other and the King's Citadel. Long live the King. Welcome to Eberron. Welcome to Sharn.